Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped Back, for the OPTC video. And in today's video, we're diving into Extra Island. And I'm going to be doing a bit of a walkthrough for you guys on how to build up a bunch of resources for your account to help with the new ship upgrade system. Now, with the new ship upgrade comes a lot of extra resources that you're going to need for your account. To level a ship up to level 12, not only do you need 20 Super Cola, this one up the top right here, but you also need 15,000 Cola. Now, if you're a big old whale, this isn't really a problem getting Cola because you can just buy it from the Rayleigh shop. And if you're an endgame player, you probably have a lot of belly as well. But if we take a look at the um the blackbird ship i did manage to get it to triple uh, triple five star but if you take a look here it takes 50 cola and 100 million belly i think that is or is it 10 million 10 million 10 million belly now this is a lot of resources like a lot of resources every time you do this and to get this 555 five, five, it took me so much belly it took me almost a billion belly because i was on like uh like the, the first number was definitely a three and then i had spent almost a hundred thousand collar to get this ship to where it is now unfortunately there's no real place to farm cola in the game besides getting it from pka now pka is a game mode that not a lot of people love but i would highly recommend doing because cola is now become so scarce and it's been so hard to get your hands on however if you head over to rayleigh's bazaar and you scroll down the bottom here you can pick up cola 500 cola for 500 rally, uh, sorry 50 cola for 500 rally points uh now if you're a big old whale and you just pop it like me um it's not going to be an issue for you guys but rally points aren't exactly the easiest thing to come by on top of that you can also pick up belly here that's really really nice because you can smack a whole bunch of belly for your account and just turn your rally points into these resources however the belly resource is actually farmable and so are these training points. If you don't know how to get these training points, basically, if you head over to your character log, you can select a bunch of characters that you pull dupes of, or you can farm up stuff like arenas and play old content. And then you can actually sell these characters here. It'll give you a bunch of belly, a bunch of training points that you can take to Rayleigh, and you can actually get it done that way. There is another way of getting these sort of materials. If you head over to your gather island, you can actually collect all. You have the uh, belly cave here, which you can uh, level up to get more belly. You also have the training points, but these are sort of very scarce ways of actually getting these resources. But in today's video, we're going to dive into some areas of how you guys can actually attain those resources for free. So if you head over to Power Up and you scroll over to Extra Island, you can actually pick this Golden Cave Wealthy. Now, it does cost 30 stamina, a whopping 30 stamina to go in go into and you can run it as triple stamina now i do have two teams for you guys to take this on with the first team we are using viola now viola's captain ability triples the amount of belly that's earned other than that she literally doesn't do anything else like she doesn't have any other captain ability her special you can sort of see the status effects she's kind of interesting at like picking up like what enemies do but otherwise she was always just used as a belly booster now this brings back absolute memories of back in the day when i had to farm belly as a new player but now there is a bunch of characters that can kind of just wave clear their way through now if you've picked up stuff like treasure map zora from the treasure map shop he's a fantastic character you've also got stuff like treasure map enel um you've also got um fuji and akainu terrific um treasure map characters here and then you've also got the rare recruit daifuku who has double special activation now most people probably won't have this max this double special activation um which is a bit of a shame uh, but as you can see, every time you use a special, um, Enel's actually getting special charge. We want to bring him down nice and low. We can then use our Fuji and Akano to sort of just wave clear here. Every time Fuji and Akano uses a special, we get cooldowns for Zoro. And then basically we can reach the final stage. On the final stage against Spandom, you get a bunch of Despair, which is a little bit annoying. But it really doesn't matter for this team because we're literally just using wave clearers to take out this particular stage. So as you can see, like we just wave cleared our way to the end. We're going to use Enel there once again because he gets all those cooldowns. And as you can see... It's nice and easy to take this quest down. There's, there's no real crazy gimmicks about it at all. Just bringing wave clearers is going to help you guys out. And then you can actually triple all of that belly that you guys earn from, from the quest. As you can see, that's a butt ton of belly. The um, ship at the moment for anniversary is giving us more drops. And then we can just hit the retry button. Now, I do understand you actually have to play to actually do that. And a lot of people like to do these events on auto mode to maximize their gains there. So what you can actually do is you can actually use Komurasaki. Legend Komurasaki will increase belly growth by two times. Now, it's not as good as what um, Viola can do with her three times. However, 
the two times is quite nice because then you can actually hit the auto button. Now, if you want to get this done nice and fast, remember this costs 90 stamina to do every single time, which is, it's a lot of stamina. Like it's, it's a butt time of stamina. What you can do is you can just hit the auto button, let the game rock. If you're cooking dinner, you're making the bed, you're washing the dishes, putting the load of washing on, feeding the dog, walking your goldfish, I don't know, pulling the burrs out of your turtle's fur, like anything you guys are doing, you can stop and just hit the auto button, put this on. Now, if you're like me, you're probably not spending your stamina every second of every day. And this is a real easy way to just jump into a quest and unload 90 stamina into something. It is, it's just going to give you resources. And moving forward, this is probably what I'm going to do because it is so fast to do. You can just dive in, cop the 90 stamina, say sayonara, see you later, and then just move on with your day. Then you have to feel bad about all that stamina that's kind of just sitting there, wasting away on your account. Um, but as you can see, the auto button, it does reign supreme. Now, with the team that I put together here, though, you can easily just wave clear. Like, you can even just use Kid and then just single tap and just let the, the wave clearing shenanigans go to town on that. But I just want to show you guys that you could also just hit auto and um, that you don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about it. The game will just play for you and you can actually just get it done this way. Um, like I said, it's just, it's way faster to just jump in with, um, with uh, wave clearers and actually play the game. But if you're super lazy or you're busy or like something's going on in life and you just literally can't, as you can see, um, there's just really no issues whatsoever. Like even just killing all the mobs and then having to kill Spanner on the second turn, it's just, it's just, it's just cake mode. It's, it's an easy quest. It's an old quest. It's been here forever. Um, I remember farming it when I first started playing the game. So I remember farming it when I had, uh, when I had Viola and running that Viola team was absolute torture and it used to take a lot longer than this. Because I had to actually tap particular taps. And killing turtles back then was actually really challenging. Because you would only do 4 damage uh, with Viola. So that, that kind of sucked as well. So as you can see, like, Spandom is taking a little while to kill. Because the auto button, it doesn't like to hit perfects when you have bomb orbs. Um, so that is a bit of annoy an annoyance. So I would highly recommend just sort of wave clearing your way through that. To actually get the most out of your time. So you don't have to worry about sitting through that. But there is one other way of getting not only Belly but also getting Rayleigh points. Now, as you guys saw when I was talking about Rayleigh points, I actually sold some old arena units. I, I basically just farmed the arena for a showcase, but most people like to XP farm over here in the rookie character requir requirement quests. If you head over to this quest here, you can hit on uh, Ground and Pound Usopp, anyone like that. And basically you can run this on triple stamina. This is a really, really good place to farm EXP as well because it only costs five stamina to dive in and then you can run it on triple stamina with Marco very, very easily. Now, I don't actually even have enough stamina to actually do that. So, I'm, I'm just going to do double stamina for now. And then you can actually hit auto. Now, if you're going to auto stuff, this is where you maximize your uh, gains. Not only do you maximize stuff like EXP to get more stamina for your account, which is very, very good. But for this particular quest, you can actually get Hime Turtles. Now, Hime Turtles are very valuable at leveling up characters. And when, with level limit break, level 150, having these Hime Turtles on your account are very very valuable it's, it's an incredibly valuable resource because those Hime turtles give you like the most amount of xp provided you're putting the Hime turtles into the color character that you are leveling up now you can choose any of the rookie requirement quests gpu is just the most famous one so i always like to dive into that but whatever turtle that you might need to farm that is the place to actually dive in now you're not going to get a lot of belly per se from actually farming this quest the idea is to actually get the character now getting the character drop at the end with three of them when you sell that character, is going to give you Rayleigh points. Yes, it is a very shit, minuscule amount of Rayleigh points, but this particular farming strategy, the min-maxing strategy for your account, is going to be the most supreme at getting the most gains for your account. Yes, it's boring. Yes, it's shit. Yes, it's not fun. But if you go here and you click sell, you go select all. As you can see, you get a whole bunch of belly. Plus, this character right here becomes Rayleigh points or friend points. Now, if you guys want to keep the, the turtles, as you can see, you lose... A lot of berries. You, like, you lose so many bellies because the Hime Turtles, they are worth a lot. But for me, Hime Turtles are quite valuable. I don't really care too much about the bellies, so I'm actually going to sell all the characters, keep the Hime Turtles. And as you can see, we're going to get 20 uh, training points, which would be 30 because we would technically be running this on triple stamina. And then you can sell that, hit the retry button, and dive in once again. And that's going to build up your Rayleigh points, which you can then spend on... Um, Cola, you can spend it on anything else in the Rayleigh shop. And this particular strategy is now a very, very good way of attaining these resources. However, 
you do have PKA. Now, PKA is a controversial game mode where a lot of people haven't found too much value in it. But the idea of this game mode is to farm up these types of materials, namely Cola and Turtles. Turtles, again, great for leveling up characters. And Cola now really good for leveling up ships. On top of that, this is the only place where you can get Super Cola. If you head over to this shop, there's Cola in here for one ticket. You get one Cola, which is absolutely absurd. I would not recommend spending your green tickets on this at all. Like It's absolutely stupid. I would highly recommend like using your cola on um the turtles like that seems just like a way smarter idea picking up the stamina meat picking up the gems and picking up the super cola or if you're a newer player heading over to this shop and picking up some of these particular characters with that but if we dive into pka uh, and we start our adventure we can have a look at the map now along the way you can actually pick up cola from chests and stuff like that so Whilst I do understand a lot of people don't love this particular game mode and the system, I would highly recommend doing it every single day. It doesn't matter what strat you use, but I'm going to show you the strat that I like to use. So I always like to target Odin and that hard PvP fight. If there's a rainbow chest anywhere along the map, I will prioritize that because I have gotten a super cola drop out of that. As you guys saw, I had like one extra, so I had like 20 and then 21 because I have spent 20 of my super cola. So what we're going to do is we're going to farm the, um, the map we're not going to farm Roger. Once we get to Roger, we're just going to leave. However, when you do Odin, you actually get... Okay, so nothing there. These these these, these men are absolute crap. Um, when you beat Odin and when you beat the PvP fight, you actually get an end screen that has a, a bunch of rewards in it. And in those rewards, you can actually pick up stuff like Cola. You can pick up stuff like Green Tickets. And you can pick up stuff like Turtles. So we're going to dive in. We're going to do the Odin fight. This is my 150 Odin team. Um, if you guys like want to copy this, go for gold. Um, it works exceptionally well, and um, it does have a lot of boosted characters, including the two new legends that were boosted for PKA. I couldn't find a way to get the, the rare recruits on the team, but uh, look, it's it's not exactly the end of the world, as we are still getting a lot of extra drops. This particular fight was made for um, the Prime Beard and Rayleigh Caban batch. Um, so if you have those characters, like namely Shanks, Buggy, and Rayleigh Caban, it is going to make your life a lot easier. However, for this team to operate, we do have to stall one turn here and just take a shot from any of these mob units. So we're just going to kill one of them with Yamato, then we take a shot, that gives us a super swap cooldown, and then we can switch again, and then we can just make our way through the particular piece of content. That's pretty much all you have to do for this team to actually operate um, effectively, because at 150, the content isn't exactly easy. Like, it's it's still fairly challenging content, and even with the new characters, like, it, it still can be quite challenging. You do get blinded on stage uh, three, you also get par paralyzed and seven tons of hunger. We're going to remove the paralysis with Rayleigh Gabon. We can then switch with uh, Luffy Yamato again, and then we can use our Luffy Yamato to give us some recovery orbs to get around the, the rest of the hunger that we couldn't get rid of with Limit Break. But that's okay, because we can just go uh, gobble, gobble, nom, nom, bada bink, bada boom. See you later. And then move on to the stage four against uh, Whitebeard. Now against Whitebeard, he is going to give us strength and quick orbs and despair and special bind. Now this is where uh, Rayleigh Gabon so good, because you get so much um, special bind and attack down. Makano and Shanks takes care of the remove sound effects. We can switch with Rayleigh Gabon. We can use their special to remove the special bind. Their captain ability to remove attack then on the previous stage and is going to on the final stage. Shanks removes the damage reduction. He also removes the despair. And then we can switch with Luffy Yamato to give ourselves a, a color affinity boost and have the super swap ready to go for the final stage. So once we do that, we need to break the barrier. We just need to hit two perfects here. Bada bink. Bada boom. Bada bup. See you later. And then when we move into the final stage, um, we can use the super swap of our Luffy and Yamato. We have Odin Toki to remove the Paralysis. Uh, Odin's going to turn into a quick unit. He's also going to give us uh, Bomb and Block Orbs or Empty Orbs. We get 8 turns of attack... Oh, sorry, 11 turns of attack down, which is super annoying. And there's 4 turns of Threshold. Um, use Buggy here. He can remove uh, all those uh, annoying Orb shenanigans. Then we have Color Affinity, additional damage, and an Orb Boost thanks to uh, Luffy Yamato. We get Chain Boundary, Chain Boost, Conditional Attack Boost with um, the support of Zoro, Buggy, and Shanks. And then we've just got um, the utility of Odin Toki. Odin Toki also have the support of Sushura Doji. That is going to allow us to get an attack boost here. I don't think the damage is essential there because as you can see, it's really not that hard to kill um, with all of those buffs live. So that's the Odin fight. Uh, hopefully that helps you guys out if you guys are looking for some more gains. I only do that fight. Um, PKA, whilst, like I said, whilst you should farm it, like getting to Roger and actually doing the Roger fight, it's so tedious, especially this month with like a Switch character and a dual unit. Um, maybe next month when we don't have a dual unit and we can sort of farm it a bit quicker, this might be a little bit easier. But as you can see, I'm getting a butt ton of turtles there as well. 
Um, you can sell these turtles if you really want to, but as you can see, they don't give any belly. So the rainbow turtles, they're the ones that you want to keep for your accounts. Uh, and if you want to sell the Hime turtles, then look, go for gold there. And then basically just build up your account with rainbow turtles. Um, once you've done that, uh, as you can see, we get a end screen. Now, for me and this game mode, I am prioritizing cola because turtles are farmable through this map. The cola, it isn't. If I want more turtles, I will complete the Roger fight. However, I've always been prioritizing um, the uh, green tickets. The green tickets always take the cake for me. I do target chests over uh, bento boxes as well because the chests stereotypically have better rewards. And then the bento boxes, like, like as you can see, like I don't need any more of any of this stuff. And as I said on day one, the maps are placebo. Like we're towards the end of the series now, and as you can see, like none of this stuff matters to me. But once we get to the PvP fights, um, the PvP fight is another area where we get an end screen that gives us extra drops. Now, as you can see here, I am using uh, my free spirit team. I'm in love with this team at the moment. I think it's very, very good. And the hardest team that you'll come up against is actually this one right here. This is the inch driven team. Uh, 104k combat power is actually insane. And, and this is the one that you are going to struggle with if you aren't an end game player. You can always target the other fight that also gives you a drop at the end um it's a very very good place to get more cola to get um you can get stuff like rumble scrolls and you can also get um green tickets as well but this is another place where you guys can farm out cola and it's really the only place to actually pick it up the problem with pka is it doesn't give enough like it doesn't even give close to enough it's not even on in the realm of enough cola now hopefully you guys farmed up uh the blitz the blitz actually gave quite a lot of cola there was a lot of cola involved Kazuna was another place that you could actually get it, but they've actually removed that from the, uh, the boxes, which is very, very annoying, because that was a place where I used to get my cola from. Uh, I'm more of a scoundrel of actually not, like, prioritizing stuff in box 7. I would just clear out every single box and just move on. Um, namely, because I'm lazy. If I'm, if I'm being real with you, I'm just completely lazy. But all those extra resources were always nice to have, because I didn't have to farm them elsewhere. And yes, there's easy places to farm. I do understand that, but uh, for me, like I said, I'm just lazy, man. I, I, just, I just can't be stuffed. So, we're going to take on this PvP fight. Use whatever team you can. Free Spirit right now is going absolutely AWOL. Even like, 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 we just got double half stats and we still took a Yamato special like an absolute champ. Like, Free Spirit right now are just absolutely cooked, man. They're so cooked. I just, yeah. I have no words for them. They're like, by far my favorite team right now. Strikers were. Um, but just, I think with the buffs this season as well that, that they're getting, it's just, they just don't die, man. They just don't die. They have good damage output. They've got good nerfing capabilities. They have fixed damage. They have damage through defense. They can avoid half stats. It's just... They go crazy, man. They go absolutely crazy. However, like I said, this is by far the hardest fight you will find. The Cerebral Psy one uh, is stereotypically the easiest of the fights, in my opinion. Um, and the uh, quick one's not too bad, too, because you can just put it, like you can just build a dex team with like Burst, Yamato, Cat Viper, Dogstorm, Kazaru, Morio, those types of characters, and just absolutely molly whop it so we're in the back end of the 30 seconds mark now now everything's going to go super fast but look it doesn't really matter because we've pretty much already won this particular fight um zoro and his counters are going to come in absolutely absolutely insane clutch um do you have a special yeah you have a special but that's okay smoke is so annoying at the, at the end of the fight because he just special binds and then like if he special binded like odin or luffy to there it's just dragging out a fight that doesn't need to be dragged out you know so let's see how much damage this counter does uh, we're not going to say it because Luffy and are going to kill him. All right, well, cool. So, yeah, that's the PvP fight. Once you beat the PvP fight, it brings up another end screen, which can actually give you some more uh, resources and more rewards. Like I said, I prior prioritize um, the green tickets, and then I prioritize stuff like Cola. But for the PvP fight, like, you can you can pick up Rumble Scrolls if you want to as well. But for the sake of the video, we're going to pick up the Cola because, like, that's what we came here for. Uh, once you click on these um, chests, you can find Cola in here as well. You can find Cola in these Bento boxes as well. But once you get to the end, the way I like to do it is once I sort of get to this fight, if you guys want to farm up turtles, you want to farm up more turtles, go for gold. That's Roger. He gives a lot of turtle drops, and it's really good for bolstering your account. However, for myself, like, I just, I don't find the fight overly fun. And if I really wanted to farm up turtles, I would just head over to that GPU island that I showed you earlier. And I would spend my time just over there hitting auto button. Because the rewards and the drops over there are a lot nicer. So I just quit this fight. It ends the map. Like I said, farm the map. Don't farm Roger. Um, he doesn't give an endgame like, win screen, which you can choose rewards. And basically, that's PKA. So it's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, farming cola and stuff like that, it's not exactly fun. And getting bellies not that great either. But... 
look, at the end of the day, it's something that you have to do to build up these rewards. And if you want to min-max your accounts, farming out GPU and farming the belly, uh, belly cave is going to be the best way to do it. But if you enjoyed the video, about the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button. Most importantly, though, wherever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Let's...